Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. An exciting one today. We're going getting the rib bed fitted. We've been waiting a long time to get this bed done. So excited guys. So let's get on the road. Let's go and get this bed fitted. So as part of the conversion that we're having, we decided that we're going to get a rib bed you know, because it allows like more space and everything, the way that we've designed, the way that we're having our camp van done, so. So when we was getting the ideas for what we was doing with, like the, the design, if you like, of what, for the van, one of the things that we was gonna do is, we was going to put like uh, an L-shaped conversion bit here because we've got the elevated bed, then we're gonna have the storage area, and you know, we're gonna have a kitchen area here. But here, we was going to put like an L-shaped conversion. Now when we started looking into it, it was like it started becoming like really expensive because just the upholstery like the amount of money that it cost it was just like yeah this is crazy so we looked into it and we decided that a better option for us would be to get a rib bed because it gives us like more opportunities to do different things and it gives us like a different area in the van so right let's get in there let's get this sorted So that's the van dropped off and Exciting. as always every time we end up going to AJC conversions we get there and it's like <laughs> why we're we here can you just, just do, do this? this we just add this so we're getting some extras again but you know <laughs> whilst we're having like some work done it makes sense to have like all the little bits that we want doing so we're getting them things done now they're gonna have the van for uh, a few days uh, no rush you know obviously they need to just get on with it and at least it'll be ready for me go away but that's the important thing because next week what we're we going doing, on holiday yes so because we're going on holiday and one of the last videos we were picking some bits up that we needed for the holiday yeah what we're we doing today go picking more bits up we're going picking more bits up so let's go shopping book's favorite pastime Ooh. oh wonderful <laughs> right let's go so it's one week before we go on this adventure that's going to be for almost a month traveling northumberland scotland so excited so let's go and pick some essentials up that we need for this trip What have you bought? Pillows. Pillows. Plates, bowls. Oh, Plates and bowls. Oh, Plates and bowls. Yes. So you want a bar after when we get home. Well, we've not finished yet, have we? We've got to go and do. Well, not, yeah, we've got loads more shopping to do, but the things I bought, I'll show you when we get home. Ooh. So, Tom has just gone into B&Q to get us a map. So while he's there, I just need to tell you, recently he's been doing my head in. So he's got this wallet, right? And he keeps putting it in his back pocket and he keeps saying it's too big, I need a new wallet. So, because it's Father's Day, I've got him this. But he doesn't know, so I'm gonna give it in today so that he can stop doing my head in. Got the mat, so yes, we need. I've already the... told him that. Ah, okay. The reason why I've got the camera on is I've been telling everyone that you've been doing my head in recently. Do you know okay. about your wallet? Oh, oh yeah, my wallet keeps falling out of pocket because it's, like, it's big and like, so, not, not because it's got money and it's big because it's a big wallet. Right. You know, next week, yeah, it's Father's Day, so sorry, bye. Yes. I've got you something for Father's Day, and he wants okay. to give it you now. Okay. What, am, I op am I opening them? Yeah. The ridge. I'm really confused, like, like you're filming this, so... Okay. Ah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay. Know what it is yet? Oh, you've just been saying about a wallet. Is, is... This looks well smart. And look how small it is. Perfect. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, a, it's a wallet. It's perfect for your pocket and it's perfect for camping. So it's carbon fibre with little red bits in it and all your cards go in there and then it's got a, mon a money strap for your cash at the back. Not that he ever has any cash, but... <laughs> look. So... 
Well, as you can see, the cards aren't going to fall out, are they? Because it's it's like it's well. He's got one of them protecting things on as well, so that when you try and scan through it, you can't. Oh, look at that! So you put your card in there. Yeah, it holds up to twelve cards. And then all and it expands. That's well smart. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thor. I'll put a link in the description for these. I think they're really smart, and I think they make a really good Father's Day gift. So. in your pocket nicely yeah do you know what this is proper proper smart this it's just so tom thinks he's got a perfect father's day gift and i think it's even better for me because now we can stop doing my head in <laughs> so i said i'd show you when i got back plates and bowls tom said you only need two pillows one each in the van no so i've got an extra pack we get two each now so we've had a delivery it's one of two, not going to tell you what it is yet. But this the is. part hasn't turned up yet. Yeah, yeah. it's not turned up, so. <laughs> um, but as soon as we've got it, we will show you, but this is coming on our trip. So, because we know that, or let's say we know, we had to wait to like last minute to know that we were going to be getting the rib bed fitted. We've not done anything with the floor. Now, we are looking at like what we're going to be doing with the floor, but for the time being, we've got a nice like, big mat that we can put on the floor because where the seating area is next to there, it's still going to be light on the floor. So Which we just annoyingly, something. Tom decided to fold in half and half again to put it in the car. So I've just been jumping about on it to try and straighten it out. Right, we're back home, we're back from AJC and Brandon has just sent us some pictures of what they've done so far. We'll pop them up now. Is that where Father's going to be sleeping, yeah. <laughs> as you can tell from the pictures, we are getting the bulkhead done at the same time as the rib bed's getting fitted, and a few other things as well, and it's going to make it such a usable space. Now, I do remember some of you asking in the, like, some of the previous videos when we went wild camping, saying why was we not sleeping on the bed, because obviously the mattress is there. The reason why is because I couldn't get onto the bed, so that's why we slept at the bottom. But we are having something fitted that helps me to get up on the mattress. I cannot wait to sleep on that orthopedic mattress. So I thought while I was back home and we're waiting for the van, I'd give you a bit of an update about our first road trip that's coming up. So I figured out the first three days. So we're going to start off. At Kaida. Did I say it right? It's like Kielder. Kielder, I think it is. Oh, it's Kaida. Kielder. No, it's Kielder. It's Kielder. So we're going to start here, the first night is going to be wild camping, then we're going to go around here and then over here is where we're going on the second night in this area and we're staying at a brick stop, then we're coming up here and we're going to stay at a wild camp. We're going to stay at a campsite I meant, sorry. We're staying at a wild camp, yeah. So wild camping here, driving around, over this side. We're going to, I've just done it again, a Brit stop. Mm. Then we're going to go to an actual campsite up here. So we're doing a bit of everything. And when we do that, we are, after that, we are going into, well, we're going to Scotland, aren't we? Yeah. Um, you know what? For the next few weeks after that, we're just going to take it day by day, aren't we? And basically yeah. just enjoy. This bit is fully what we're planned. Doing. So apart from the campsite, I haven't decided which one I want to stay at yet, so we're going to book that soon. But this is like done in it. I've yeah. planned this out so we know mm. where we're stopping, where we're going visiting, mm. but then the rest of it, we've kind of just going to... Just going to go with it, yeah. aren't we? We're just going to go to Scotland and then travel. We're not going to be doing any like NC500 things, we're going to be doing like other areas and places and you Yeah, know. we're not doing the NC500 this time, we no, are doing it later time. in this year mm -hmm. So people have been asking me where I bought this map from, so it's actually on the Northumberland 250 Which is here, nland250.com and you can buy it off there There we go Lots to do. The next video, we're going to be picking the van up, and then after that, that's when we're going to be travelling into it. So you know, we'll do a bit of tour of the van and everything. So we're really excited. I can't so, wait. Can't I wait. can't wait to make my bed up. I'm dead excited. Yeah, it's going to talk about it. No, she keeps buying loads of different things from the bed <laughs> and that. So 
Guys, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We have been waiting a long, long time to get late travel done, but we're, you know, we're doing it now. We really appreciate your support, and you know what? Until the next one. Bye. Bye for now.